Greetings folks! With all the different options that are out there when it comes to AI art generation, it's always intriguing to find out how they are going to perform at their present state if you were to put them into test and test them against each other. Now that's exactly what I'm hoping to do here. In this video, I ran a quick test with a single prompt across the board for all three apps that I used in this case and I used the three most popular AR generation tools namely DALI 2, Midjourney as well as Stable Diffusion. Now before I show you my results and let you know what my thoughts are, I should mention a couple things. First of all, I'm not biased against any one of these apps, any of these tools. I am relatively new and I like to play with all three of them. And I know from my own experience, what I've noticed, they all have their own strengths and weaknesses. And the other thing I should mention, I'm running it with just one test. Now, if you were to replicate that test multiple times, or if you were to go beyond the style or the type of image that I'm generating to compare, you may get a different set of results. And I'm hoping that it triggers some discussions perhaps. And let me know in the comment section below once you have had a chance to look through all of these and let me know how you feel about the different tools and what's your what your experience has been so we can all learn from each other all right so the prompt that i ended up using across all three ai art generation apps was multicolor picture made of watercolor texture of a boy fly fishing with his dad next to a fall where bears are busy catching salmon in a beautiful sunny day by Vincent van Gogh created at modern world in 4k ultra high resolution with feeling of contentment so that's the exact same prompt that I ran across all three now the criteria that I use in my specific test case was I wanted to see Van Gogh style present in the images that I select for each each app. I want to see how close the image goes to the description in the prompt. So what I laid out in the prompt, I wanted it to be close to that. And third criteria that I used was I looked at levels of detail. So here we're talking about the color scheme and the depth and so forth. So let's look at the images now, one by one. So Dali 2 is the first one. And I should mention that for each, each app, there were four sets generated automatic for Dali 2, Mid Journey, as well as Stable Diffusion. So that's the first set. That's the other two for Delhi 2. Not bad. They're pretty decent. Uh, they're nice. One thing I must mention that I don't see, you know, when we talk about fly fishing, I was hoping that the dad and the kid would be fly fishing midstream, perhaps, in water, because that's the typical nature of fly fishing. I don't see that, and neither do I see the bear catching salmon but I do see some nice waterfalls I have to give it to Delhi too so again those are the ones of course there's the first one where we see the bear catching perhaps catching salmon but the boy is missing right that's the key piece and the second second image for Delhi too we notice that there are some salmons but the bear is missing but the other thing I should mention that I don't see Van Gogh style though, even though they're very nice, the images that are being generated by Dali 2 are very nice, but I don't see the Van Gogh style the way I understand Van Gogh style being present here. But again, I'm not an artist, so I'll leave it up to you to decide whether you see that or not. All right, so let's look at Mid Journey. And we got four sets of images. Uh, these are the first two for me journey nice look at the depth of coloring very nice for my exposure i know that they're very good perhaps the best when it comes to the depth of coloring 
that's exactly what we're seeing here we're seeing the dad and the kid fly fishing which is great no fall or no bear though that's one thing I noticed here I see some very nice images being generated fly fishing that's great the dad is there in the second image even in the first one here I think I see the dad there but I'm not seeing certain aspects from my description but I'm not surprised with the depth of color and the detail that I see in this set let's look at stable diffusion now okay so the first one was somewhat okay but not not anything remote to what I was hoping for but look at the second one and look at the style it seems like of the ones that I've seen at least from my run it seems like the stable diffusion to my surprise actually tried to capture the essence of Van Gogh style in these images again we haven't seen the other two yet but it seems like I can already see the the style being present the Van Gogh style which I haven't seen in the other two sets for Dali 2 and Mid Journey now look at the third and fourth one by Stable Diffusion and I like the I like the fourth one they are in midstream they are fly fishing I can see the sky just as we expect of course it's not perfect I don't see the fall or the bear or the salmon so I don't see that but I do see clear sky and what's amazing to see what's mind-blowing to see here is is uh, the style the way stable diffusion was able to capture that so I like that one actually I like the fourth one for stable diffusion all right so the final selections so what I ended up doing I selected one for each one of the apps so that we can compare and the way I selected again I use those same criteria and see what are some of the ones that are the closest so these are the ones that I selected now this is the one if you remember we just saw for for stable diffusion this is the one for DALI 2 and this is the one for mid journey all very nice images without a doubt all of them have certain aspects certain criteria being met now for all three here we can see the dad as well as the son fly fishing although they're not here fly fishing I can understand they're very close to the fall so that probably is the reason it's not that way but as I mentioned before the color the detail mid journey they do the best job but when it comes to the style when it comes to capturing the essence of a Van Gogh style image I see that in the one from stable diffusion which I'm not seeing here albeit that it doesn't have some aspects and that's one thing I noticed that irrespective of the app when the description is so detailed seems like it tries to do the best that it can but if you notice neither one of the three apps gave me a set of images where the entire description has been captured the way I want it to but that being said I pick stable diffusion as being the winner I know that this is kind of perhaps a little surprising at least to me it was a bit surprising because I with all my exposure to stable diffusion I know that the potentials are there the prospects are there for it to grow and grow rather quickly compared to the other apps because it's an open source but I never expected in its current state that it's going to be able to generate such a nice image so I ended up selecting stable diffusion as being the winner at least from my single test I should I shouldn't mention that you know it's just one test in real world you want to run multiple tests before you come to a judgment that's number one number two you might want to try different types of images for example as opposed to paintings or arts here you may want to try other types right the sketches or photos or what have you so this is just a quick test and this is what I found out 
Now, now that I've shared what I think is the case and what I what I found through my test, let me know what you think through the comment section below. Please feel free to share your own experience. If you had a chance to experiment with all three, Mid Journey, Dali 2, as well as Stable Diffusion, let me know what your experience has been. And anything else that you want to share, I'll be more than happy to read your comments. Thank you.